Hello everyone, in today's lesson I'm going to show a proof by mathematical induction of the sum of the n triangular numbers. And you see the formula on my screen. This is, will be in three steps. And let's see the first step. The first step is to use the value of n equals 1. So we take the case when the n takes a value of 1. And we need to prove that the left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side. So when the n takes the value of 1, the left-hand side I have this give you a value of 1 which is exactly as the right hand side and because 1 over 6 times 1 times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 this is the right hand side this give you 1 so we have proved that the formula works when the n takes a value of 1 so the formula is true In the second step of the proof, we assume the formula works for a value of a natural number k. So we write the formula in the following order, as above. One plus three plus six plus ten plus plus one over two k bracket k plus one is equal to 1 over 6k bracket k plus 1 bracket k plus 2. On the step 3, I'm going to check the formula for the value of a natural number k plus 1, the following natural number, because the formula works for the first natural number, n equals 1, as per the step 1, is odd. we make the assumption that it works for the value of n equals k, so we are going to test the formula whether it's true for the value of the natural number k plus 1. And we start by the left hand side. So the left hand side of the formula is This is the left hand side of the formula when the n takes a value of the k plus 1. All I did, I replaced the k with the k plus 1. And I have this series. However, the first part of the formula, it has two parts. This is the first part and this is the second part. The first part of the formula is equivalent to the 1 over 6 k bracket k plus 1 bracket k plus 2 as per the step 2 make we make the assumption that it's true so we take this assumption and we use it in the step 3 so we replace the first part of the formula with 1 over 6 k bracket k plus 1 bracket k plus 2 And the second part of the formula is the last term of the series. 
in the last term of the series is a half bracket k plus 1 bracket k plus 2. Since I simplify the formula in this only these two terms, it's very easy to simplify further using algebra and factorizing and coming to an expression that describes the term k plus 1. So what I'm going to do next is to simplify these two terms by factorizing and make it equivalent to the formula above when the k takes the value of the k plus 1. So I'm going to factorize here by taking the highest common factor out of the bracket. The highest common factor is half bracket k plus 1 bracket k plus 2. And I've done the factorizing. So what I'm going to do next is to simplify the square brackets. We keep simplifying. Now we keep sim So I'm going to simplify here the last bracket by making the last bracket as one fraction. I can bring the denominator in, in front and I make it as 1 over 6 bracket k plus 1 bracket k plus 2 bracket k plus 3. Now the right hand side of the formula now is 1 over 6 bracket k plus 1 bracket k plus 2 bracket k plus 3. And this is the right hand side of the formula when the value of the k is k plus 1, the following number. If you compare now the step 2, the right hand side of the step 2, which is 1 over 6 times k times k plus 1 times k plus 2 and replace the value of the k here with the k plus 1, So the p k plus 1 is true and hence by the principle of mathematical interaction the p is true for all natural numbers. So the formula 